everyone! Today I'm going to be doing my top makeup favourites of 2013. So I haven't really been into makeup that much until like a couple of months ago. So I haven't had that many makeup things this year. I got tons of makeup for Christmas and I got quite a few like a couple of weeks ago. So there's not many good products here. So I'm going to get started. Starting off with the fir first thing I use on my face in the morning, a primer. So this is my Benefit Professional Pro Balm to Minimise the Appearance of Pores by Benefit. And this looks pretty gross because like, I had it since April this year and I didn't really use it until like, a couple of months ago. But um, this has been really good and it's really, like when you put it on your skin it's like, amazing it's so soft and this is like silicon based so you know um it's been pretty good and highly recommend now time for the thing that well is the most important thing in like my makeup routine um foundation this one is my one and only foundation i've ever used um it's the rimmel london lasting finish 25 hour foundation in ivory <clears throat> So this has been really good. It's really good cover up. It's not like too orangey or anything. Um, it really matches my skin tone really well. Even though if you look at that, it sort of doesn't look like my skin tone. It's really good. It's got just one of these like pumps. I only use one pump um, per day, and really recommend this. So this next product is one of the things I've only just got like a month ago, and it is the. Um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I think this is amazing. I've only had it for a month, but already I know it's my favourite of 2013. Um, it's amazing. And it's in fair, I think. It doesn't really say, but it's in fair, I think. And it just, it really covers up any redness or spots. And really recommend this. Next up is a powder that I've been using pretty much all year. But I had to repurchase one, so this has been like a couple of months ago once again. I keep on chucking things around. So this one is in Pink Blossom, but it isn't actually pink. If you just see that, it's not pink. I wouldn't wear pink powder. So um, this has been really good, and it really like, um, when you put it on, it just like gives your face a matte look, like finish instead of Stop chucking things around. Yeah, so it gives you like a matte, matte, matte look instead of like a dewy look, which I prefer matte. Now I'm going to go on to eyes. So the first eye product is some eyeshadows that I've been using practically every weekend. Um, only like a couple of months ago though. Um, this is the MUA Undress Me 2 palette. And it says, wow, try MUA's Seductive 12 Shade Palette. Creating endless looks by mixing a soft neutral with cool greys and stunning gold metallics. So this is really good for like natural looks. Like I'm using it right now. I use it like every day nearly. Like every weekend day. And um, look I've literally like run out three of these like already. It's like. Um, but it's been really good and I highly recommend that. Also this was only four pounds but I'm probably gonna get a new one soon so probably the sleek one next up is my eyelash curler I've had this for a few years now and it's the same one um, it's just one from Primark and you're probably thinking ooh you use Primark makeup stuff this was only a pound and to be honest I don't see anything wrong with it it's just for curling your eyelashes and um, you know now on to mascara and this is my top favourite of 2013 makeup product. It is the There Real Mascara by Benefit and it is amazing. This is the brush. It's like, um, it's got like lots of like little bris bristle, little bristles I guess I could call it, um, that just like separates your eyelashes out whilst like covering it in the mascara. And then at the end it's got like a ball so then you can really get into the corners and um, this is really good. I highly recommend this. It's quite expensive. I've had this since April this year and I love it. 
Next up is another Benefit product. Sorry, I love Benefit so much. Um, it is a, um, um, what do you call it, um, a blush. And this is, I'm going to take everything out of the box. This is the Dandelion blush. I'm probably going to buy the big one at some point because this is quite small. But it is amazing and it's such a light, really nice light pink. And it's really good. Also, another favourite cheek product is this Posy Tint. It's just a mini one. And it came in that box by Benefit and it's really cute. And also you can use this on your lips and on your cheeks. Now on to highlighter. I don't really use this all the time, like don't really find the need for it, but this is the Benefit High Beam one, and it's just the mini one, and it came in that box once again, sorry, um, and it's just really good, and um, it's the only highlighter I have, so. <laughs> now I'm going to go on to lips. I'm going to start off with lipsticks. So these two are my favourite lipsticks. As I said, I only just started getting into makeup, like, in the past month, so my favourites of this year are this just two cheap ones that, to be honest, I'm not really that into anymore. Um, so the first one is from Natural Collection. Natural Collection is £2 for lipsticks. It's a bit cheap. Um, I'm not sure the colour of this because I sort of pulled off the sticker at the end. And it's just this sort of, like, pinky colour, and it... This is a good lipstick. It's not really like the best quality. Um, there's a swatch of it just there. Um, it's a nice colour. It goes on well. And it's good value, so you know. What more can I say? The other lipstick I chose is this MUA one, and it is in shade 4. They don't have names, which is really unfair because names always pull me in to lipsticks. So, this is the colour. It's just a really light pink. This is the colour. It's just a really light pink. Um, it's just like a balmy sort of one. You can't really see it. Um, it's nice and it's really summery and springy. So, you know. Next up is a lip liner. I don't tend to wear lip liner. And I've only got one. So, you know. This is the MUA um, Intense Colour Lip Liner in Pink Me Up. And it's just a pink colour. And, you know. Um, whatever. Next up is a lip gloss and once again this came out of the Feeling Dandy um, box set thingy and it's the Dandelion lip gloss which goes with the blush and it tastes amazing. I know that's sort of like wrong that I love it so much just because of the taste but it really does taste and smell really good and also the colour is really cute and it matches like blonde to people and the packaging is really cute too. Lastly one of my favourite products once again like one of my top three products is my Maybelline um, baby lips I have four of these and I want all of them but they only sell six different kinds in the UK and it's hard to get your hand on them because like usually they only sell these four but um <clears throat> so the colours I have no not colours flavours I have is cherry me Mint Fresh, Pink Punch, and this is the one I use mostly, and it is the Hydrate. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up, and comment below, and subscribe. Bye!